With the development of defense relations between the Philippines and the United States, many defense items have been discussed, and one such item is the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II which is best known as the Warthog. From information provided a few months ago, an official inquiry has been sent regarding the Warthog, and from the numbers provided too, the Philippine Air Force could at least have two squadrons of a minus 10 size with some spares. But, we would like to clarify, an investigation does not mean a definite intention to acquire, it is more about gathering information that will help the Philippine government to finalize their decision regarding a particular item. The A-10 Warthog is a common visitor to the Philippines, the Warthog has been a constant airborne contingent in the different military exercises the AFP conducts with the United States Armed Forces. Warthogs have been conducting air combat exercises with the Philippine Air Force even before the arrival of the FA-50PH Golden Eagles. Undoubtedly, the Warthog is a deadly ground attack and close air support aircraft. Its weapon alone, the GAU Avenger 30mm rotary cannon is a threat to any ground and armor units one will encounter in the field. This aircraft, armed with a variety of air-to-ground munitions, is a deadly aircraft in ground support missions. The A-10 is a threatening aircraft in its intended role for ground support missions if there is total air superiority in the area in which it will operate. These aircraft while able to take damage are at the mercy of any multi-role fighters it will encounter, or advanced anti-air units stationed by opposing forces. With this we believe, despite the investigation regarding the A-10s, the Philippine government will still pursue acquiring more A-29 Super Tucanos which essentially perform the same mission as the A-10 Warthog for close air support attacks. The A-29 Super Tucano, although a prop-driven aircraft can also deploy a variety of guided and unguided munitions and is a proven aircraft for the Philippine Air Force. There is also the possibility that the A-29 will be certified to deploy light cruise missiles such as the Seabreaker, which is being developed by Rafael. An aircraft with long-range anti-ship capabilities is what the Philippine Air Force needs in its arsenal. Another factor is the logistics footprint. Introducing another type of aircraft into Philippine Air Force service means another layer of spare parts, ammunition, maintenance, and manpower requirements. The Philippine Air Force is already familiar with Super Tucanos, they just need more of them and if discussions with the United States government are fruitful, the Philippine Air Force may receive three A-29 Super Tucano Sierra Nevada. Lastly, if the Philippine Air Force's 15th Strike Wing had its own jet aircraft unit, we believe that the FA-50 would be a suitable aircraft for them. Just like the A-10 and A-29, the Golden Eagles can also deploy a variety of guided and non-guided munitions. With continued development from KAI, the FA-50 could also soon be armed with long-range air-to-ground munitions such as the Seabreaker, Joint Strike Mission, air-launched variant of the Naval Strike Anti-Ship Missile, and the KEP D-350K-2 mission. The FA-50 can provide close air support that can also have a combat stance against opposing air units due to its speed and can still maneuver aircraft like the A-10. And we wouldn't be surprised if the Golden Eagles would find their way into the 15th Strike Wing. Having a close air support aircraft like A-10 Thunderbolt that a respective country has is something a fanboy is imagining about, only considering its sheer firepower and setting aside other technical areas which are important as well. A-10 Thunderbolt, also known as the Warthog, is a US close air support aircraft which is a jet-powered, versatile aircraft with GAU-8 Avenger Gatling gun as its main weapon, also used in goalkeeper CIWS, alongside air-to-surface missiles like AGM-65 Maverick missiles. The A-10 has a cantilever low-wing monoplane wing with a wide cord. It has superior maneuverability at low speeds and altitude due to its large wing area, high wing aspect ratio, and large ailerons. The wing also allows short takeoffs and landings, permitting operations from austere forward airfields near front lines. The A-10 can loiter for extended periods and operate under 1,000-foot ceilings with 1.5-mile visibility. It typically flies at a relatively low speed of 300 knots 350 miles per hour, 560 kilometers per hour, which makes it a better platform for the ground attack role than fast fighter bombers.